Welcome to this episode of the Sports Detective Podcast Show. My name is James Williams, and today we discuss if Joe Burrow will have a disappointing 2024 football season. Why are we talking about this? Well, uh, this is something that the things I'm going to show you guys here in a minute are things that uh, I have been hearing about on like fantasy podcasts and you know fantasy football podcasts and it's something that if you hear some sort of fantasy football podcast talking about Joe Burrow and him potentially sliding down the rankings guys like Jamar Chase T Higgins sliding down the ratings these Bengal guys sliding down the rankings and potentially just talking about the Bengals and their outlook on the season and how some people might not be as high on them um, we're going to talk about why now before we get any farther in this video I want to point this out here I'm a fan of Joe Burrow he was born in Iowa. I was born in Iowa. I still live in Iowa. I like Joe Burrow. I'm a fan of Joe Burrow's. I want him to be very, very successful. But how he has been recovering from this wrist injury, if you guys don't remember, last year, November, uh, is like 10, 11 games in the season. Joe Burrow uh, tears the ligament in his wrist, has to have season-ending surgery, and he's out for the rest of the year. And I think a lot of us are like, oh, well, that injury happened like eight, nine months ago. It must be like... Everything must be fine. He must be all good. And Cincinnati's ready to go. Well, I'm going to show you guys a few quotes here that are uh, a little bit concerning. So this is the first one that I'll show you guys. So this is a uh, this is a, a kind of a paraphrase thing. So Joe Burrow said this, and I think Zach Taylor said this too, that uh, right now this is, came out like what last week, maybe a week and a half ago, that uh, Bengals QB Joe Burrow said he's happy with the wrist recovery after the summer. As of now, he will not practice more than two days in a row in training camp, said he'll play it by ear. Uh, guys, him not practicing, he can't, th it, the, the, the more specific quote that came from that was that Joe Burrow said, I'm not allowed to like throw three days in a row. He's not be allowed to throw a football three days in a row. That's something that's maybe a little bit important to match with timing with his receivers, timing with his offensive line, timing with uh, some of the other weapons on this offense. And if anything, too, maybe that's a sign that maybe, because it is his throwing wrist, too, by the way, that is hurt, that maybe his wrist and his arm isn't exactly the same. It's like, oh, wait, James, maybe they're just being overly cautious. They want to make sure that he is okay for the regular season. Well, this is a uh, other quote that uh, that came out. And this, was, this is something from back in May. Uh, this is from Albert Breer. Bengals QB Joe Burrow on his recovery from wrist injury and where he's heading at, uh, where he's at heading into spring work. The wrist has good days and bad days, just like the knee did. We'll be smart about it. So the reason I bring that up and that quote up is because if he's still in a situation two months later, because that that quote was from May seventh, uh, if he's still in that situation two months later where he can't throw a football three days in a row, I still think that quote still applies, that he has good days, he has bad days. That is not necessarily a good sign for his recovery process and the outlook for the Cincinnati Bengals football season because we're like a month away right now, or at least a, a month and a week away from the football season starting. So I also wanted to bring this attention to you guys. So this is a guy that, uh, uh, that responded to that Albert Brewer tweet and uh, he is a like sports medicine doctor, and I guess he has like a Twitter following. So I'll go ahead and read this uh, these tweets that he tweeted out in response to Albert Breer, kind of adding more context to this Joe Burrow wrist injury and recovery. So here's the first tweet. This guy's Jesse Morse. Uh, Joe Burrow Bengals injury update. Burrow suffered a season-ending right scap folinate ligament tear in his throwing wrist sorry if i mispronounced that on november 16th 2023 against the baltimore ravens initially it was speculated that it was a tfcc complex tear but unfortunately it was worse the dreaded scap Folinate ligament tear, uh, complex tear. This ligament is very important for the stability of the wrist. And since this slash most ligaments have a poor blood supply, it needed to be repaired. I asked an orthopedic hand surgeon colleague his thoughts on this injury as it pertains to Burrow. And here was his response. It's a bad injury to have. Invariably always leads to some instability over time in arthritis at an earlier age. That is not uh, the best sign, but uh, Cincinnati Bengals fans, it, it does get worse. 80% of normal strength and range of motion is common. 
hard to do dart thrower's motion. Dart thrower's motion, so throwing, the throwing motion. Harder to do that, which is important for snapping the wrist and the follow-through when throwing. So that is not a good sign. But these guys are superhuman, so I'm sure he'll be fine. Did this injury change his career forever? Question mark. Yes, for sure. For context, he's the only pro QB I've heard with this, so it's hard to gauge. Use this information as you wish. He should be cleared to throw by mid-May on par with OTAs, which is on track, assuming no setback. Will he ever be the same QB he was before the injury? Question mark. Unfortunately, we don't know, although I can say he is at an increased risk for new compensating injuries. Guys, that is not good. That is not good. So the part that was underlined there, uh, the fact that if you go through, and pe- people went through this and they looked through all the injuries of this, there's never been a quarterback that has had that that type of ligament injury that Joe Burrow has. The only other people that get that injury are like linemen and linebackers. The only difference, and you can be like, oh, well, those guys had that injury. They, they went on to have successful careers. They were able to recover from that just fine. Well, they don't have to throw the football 30, 40 times a game. And this is very, very concerning if you're a Cincinnati Bengals fan because if you just look at Joe Burrow's career with the Cincinnati Bengals, let's go through it. This dude has never had a normal training camp. He has never had a normal offseason his entire career. So let's go through it. 2020, COVID. COVID, that kind of limits... Uh, the amount of work that you're going to do, you know, in-person contact. That was kind of a whole weird offseason. 2021, he's recovering from an ACL that he tore in his rookie year. So that was a normal offseason. 2022, he had an appendectomy. That's something that you can't control. I had one at one point in my life. They aren't fun. They, they you know, you're kind of out for a while with that. So he didn't have a normal offseason that year. Uh 2023, I don't know if you guys remember this. He had like a right calf strain where he like missed like a month and a half of like training camp leading up to the season. And then that's kind of why the Bengals were kind of shaky and Burrow was kind of shaky earlier in the year because he was battling with this uh, uh, calf strain and it definitely kind of limited him early in the season. So that's why he was like only five and five as a starter when he played last year. Wasn't He was kind of battling an injury even a little bit last year. Then this wrist injury this year. This is a fifth season in the NFL. He has not had one normal offseason. Joe Burrow is 28 years old. These are supposed to be the prime, healthy years of his career. And he's had at least COVID can't, you know, that was random. Appendectomy, again, random. But three offseasons where he's had injuries that he's been struggling with leading into the season, leading into training camp, or even missing a lot of training camp. Guys, this is concerning if you're a Cincinnati Bengals fan, especially Early on in Joe Burrow's career, I think he led the NFL in sacks like his second year, coming off of an ACL injury. If if he didn't lead it, I'm sorry if he didn't. He was very high in sack rate and sacks. Coming off an ACL injury. He has had a terrible offensive line since the day he walked into the NFL. I was looking at their offensive line earlier today on Pro Football Focus. They're ranked 21st in the NFL. They are still a below average offensive line. This has been an issue he's had the entire time, and they haven't done anything to fix it. Now, I understand, you know, they they did the thing where they picked Jamar Chase over Penny Sewell. It looks like that was the right decision, even though Penny Sewell is an absolute beast for the Detroit Lions, but Jamar Chase is also a beast for the Cincinnati Bengals. But Joe Burrow is a guy that's been dealing with a lot of injuries, and you guys aren't doing anything to protect him. You aren't getting better on the offensive line. And here's another thing, too. Uh, and this is for, if you're a Bengals fan, you know this, but if you're not a Bengals fan, you might, you know, be out of the loop on this. They lost Joe Mixon this off season. Mixon went to Houston. Well, you understand that he's 28 year old running back. You don't want to pay those guys, especially when you're going to be giving Jamar Chase a bunch of money. You still have this T Higgins decision you have to make, gave him the franchise tag. And then Joe Burrow is making a whole bunch of money now. So you don't want to pay Joe Mixon a bunch of money. That's just kind of financial sense. Uh, when it comes to the NFL. But they got Zach Moss to replace him. I think Joe Milton was able to be productive behind a like subpar or average offensive line. I don't know if Zach Moss can do that. So you're telling me Joe Burrow has a, uh, a, a still kind of a sore wrist, let's say. He has a poor offensive line, and he's not going to have much of a running game heading into this season. Guys, it's it kind of spells trouble for the Cincinnati Bengals. 
it kind of spells trouble for them. I know people are high on their defense. Their defense could be pretty good, but like we read in that previous tweet, he'd be Joe Burrow could be compensating for injuries. So even if he doesn't tweak that wrist again, maybe there's something where he compensates, tweaks something else in his arm, something in his back, something in his leg. I don't know, guys. I love Joe Burrow, like I said at the beginning. But uh, th- this is something here where I, I kind of wanted to point this out, that his he's still not 100% healed from this wrist injury. It's something that he's probably going to be battling with for most of the season and probably won't be completely normal until last year. But just the fact that the, the team can't block for him, they don't have a running game, I don't know. I, I, I don't, don't draft any Bengals onto your fantasy team unless you get tremendous value on them. That's all I'll say. Um, again, though, I believe in Joe Burrow. Coming off of that ACL tear, he takes his team to the Super Bowl. No one was expecting that. Um, coming off the appendectomy a few years ago, his t- he wins the division, I think. I think they went 12-4. and four or whatever it was. I think he was 12 and four as a starter that year. So Joe Burrow has a, uh, a knack of defying the odds, but uh, we'll see if he's able to do that here. So um, there you have it, guys. That's going to do it for this video here today. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you got this far in the video and you like it, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. If you haven't already, that is the best way to help a small channel like this grow. If you like this work, that is the best thing that you can do to support us. So uh, I just wanted to say thank you. Leave your comment, what you thought about the video. Do you think, uh, this is something that's very concerning for Cincinnati. Do you think this is no big deal? What do you think of Joe Burrow in general? And um, thank you very much for watching. I'll talk to you next time.